everyone. It's Sandy from the St. Catharines Public Library. It's Black History Month, and I'm here today to share with you another story from our Norval Johnson Heritage Center collection. Our second story is about a man who was one of Niagara's first black settlers, an early leader in the black community, and a War of 1812 hero, Richard Pierpoint. Richard Pierpoint was born around 1745 in Bondu, a part of present-day Senegal, Africa. He was captured at the age of 16, sold into slavery in the United States, and purchased by a British officer named Pierpoint in 1760. In 1775, the American Revolution broke out. The British Army badly needed Loyalist recruits to fight on their side. So they enlisted slaves in exchange for their freedom if they survived the war. Richard Pierpoint took advantage of the offer and enlisted in Butler's Rangers, a Loyalist battalion led by Colonel John Butler. In 1783, when the British surrendered, he was granted his freedom and migrated across the border to what was then Upper Canada. In 1791, because he had served in the British Army and was a Loyalist settler, Pierpoint was given a certificate for 200 acres of land in Grantham Township, now St. Catharines. The 12-mile creek, which ran behind the now-demolished St. Catharines General Hospital, ran along the edge of his property. Pierpoint still needed to clear at least five acres of land per 100 acres for farming and road frontage, and to build a log cabin before he received his ownership title. He fulfilled his settlement duties and became a landowner in 1804. In 1806, Pierpoint sold his land and probably survived as a laborer until 1812, when war broke out again between the British and the Americans. Well into his 60s, Pierpoint sent a petition to the Upper Canadian government offering to raise a corps of colour men to fight for Upper Canada. He compiled a list of names, and by late August, an all-black company had formed in Niagara, under the 1st Lincoln Militia. Pierpoint and his men were joined by soldiers from across Upper Canada, forming the Colour Corps. It's thought that the soldiers probably realised that if the Americans won the war, the rights that free blacks had under British law would be jeopardized. Command of the company wasn't given to Pierpoint. Instead, Captain Robert Runchy, a white officer and tavern keeper, got the post. Pierpoint enlisted as a private September 1st, 1812, and served until March 24th, 1815. The Color Corps participated in many battles on the Niagara Peninsula, including the Battle of Queenston Heights on October 13, 1812. They were among the first reinforcements to arrive and take back the heights from the Americans. In 1813, the Color Corps changed from infantry to artificers, a labor corps, and were sent out to rebuild destroyed forts in Niagara and to construct Fort Mississauga in Niagara-on-the-Lake. Like all veterans, Pierpoint was eligible for a land grant after the war, but in 1821 he petitioned the government for assistance to return to Africa instead. He desperately wanted to live the rest of his life in his homeland. His petition was not granted, but he was given a hundred acres of land in Garafraxa Township, Wellington County, near present-day Fergus. Despite his age and with the help of others, he successfully fulfilled his settlement duties on his land grant and became a property owner again at the age of 78. In the winter of 1837 or early 1838, Pierpoint died in his 94th year and having no heirs, left his estate to his friend Lemuel Brown of Grantham Township. His burial place is unknown. If you would like to learn more about Richard Pierpoint, you can sign out from the library's circulating collection the book called A Stolen Life, Searching for Richard Pierpoint. Thank you for watching today's story about Richard Pierpoint. Next week, we'll have another story 
highlighting Black History Month in Niagara. <laughs>